finally today, the Union County Board of Commissioners taking action in the District 9 congressional investigation. Now, we told you that the State Board of Elections says it will not certify the results of that congressional election until an investigation into alleged ballot mishandling is complete. ABC Charlotte's Mark Boyle joining us now from the newsroom. So, Mark, what does Union County plan to do today? Well, Carolyn, Rachel, or, uh, what's going on here is Union County wants to push all this forward. It seems as if things keep changing by the day here, and county leaders are showing their frustration with what could be the lack of representation of Washington in D.C. because of the ongoing in investigation into the 9th District election, election debacle. Rather. Now, this evening, here's what's going to happen. Union County Board of Commissioners plans to push the issue forward regarding representation. Commissioners are expected to vote on a resolution requesting the State Board of Elections certify the 9th District results. On Tuesday, the North Carolina GOP called for a new election in the race between Harris and Democrat Dan McCready. Harris beat McCready by a little bit, just 905 votes, but controversy over the handling of absentee ballots in Bladen County is at the center of this investigation. Now, on your screen right now, this is part of a statement from Union County. It reads, the North Carolina State Board of Elections has not certified the results for the 9th District Congressional Election. The lack of certification is causing uncertainty for the residents here in Union County regarding the representation in the U.S. House of Reps in the 116th Congress beginning January 3rd of 2019. However, the State Board of Elections has not certified the results and will not hold a public evidentiary hearing over the fraud allegations until, get this, January 11th. So a lot could happen here in the next couple of weeks. We'll follow what happens in Union County this evening. Back to you guys.